Today, we'll be looking at how to create PDFs using JSPDF in our Rails applications. JSPDF is a client-side JavaScript PDF generation that can be used in any web application. It's used in the front end, so we can easily integrate this using Stimulus.js. So to begin, we first create our blank Rails application, which I have done here. And next, we'll simply use import maps to pin JSPDF into our application. And once we run this, it will pin JSPDF along with some other libraries for us. And then we can run Rails generate scaffold. I will say article, and we want to have the title of type string and content of type text. With that, we can run Rails DB migrate, and we can then update our routes. If we save that there, and then we run Rails serve to start up our server, we can head over to our browser and check out localhost 3000, and there we go. We have our application run up. So if we want to use JS PDF, we simply head over to import map, and we can see we have this library pinned here. And this is what we want to use in our stimulus controller. So if we head over to hello controller JS, that's the default controller that is created in our Rails application. So we'll delete this in our connect method. And if we look at the documentation here, it even specifies how we can import it into our application. We can simply say import JS PDF from JS PDF. And that is what we'll go ahead and do. So we simply just copy this here and we head over to our Hello Controller. And there we go, we have imported our library. So what we can do next is we can, if we look at the documentation once more, it tells us how we can create an instance of, of JS PDF and what we can do to create a simple PDF file. Here we, we create a document and we set it to a new instance of JS PDF. And then we can set the text where we want it to be as well as the X and Y coordinates for it. And then with doc.save, we can specify the name of the file that we want to save our PDF to. So if we simply just copy this here, and just copy this here, and paste it in our connect method. And we save this here. And if we head over to our index page, we can initialize our stimulus controller. If we come here, we can simply say data controller is equal to hello. So with that, we come back here and we refresh. You can see a file was downloaded for us, and this is our PDF file. This is the name that we gave to our file, and this is what we specified in our document, in our Hello Controller. If we go back here, we can see, okay, this is what we can do to save our files. We can specify anything. If I change this once more, and I come back here and I refresh, you can see this our new information here has been added. But let's change this up a bit here. You know, it's not very useful for us to just have a PDF download, immediately we load the page. So if we head back here, and we head into our index page, we can actually create a button, let's say, we'll call this We'll say button, we'll say data action. And when we click on this button, we want to say hello and we want to generate PDF. So if we say generate PDF, and then we close our button, we can go back and we can create an action or rather create a method in our 
hello controller that will generate a PDF for us once the button is clicked. So let's have this here. And before we do that, let's refactor this a bit. So we'll say, instead of having constant, we'll say this dot doc is equal to new JS PDF. So we can then move doc dot save here. We will say this doc dot save. So if we save that, we come back and refresh here. You can see our PDF immediately does not generate for us. If we click here now, there we go. We have our PDF file. So what we can do next is we can populate our article page. If we populate this, then we can generate some data that will be included in our PDF file. So let's head over here. We'll just use our Rails console to do that. We'll say Rails console. And let's say, we'll say 20 times do. And we we'll want to create article. And we'll say we want the title to be, let's give it some random for secure.random.hex and content. We'll say the same thing, secure random dot hex. And there we go, just randomly, we have created some random information with title and content. So with that, we want to be able to click on this generate PDF and it will generate everything that we have created here. So if we head back to here, and we look at our index page, we can see that this div here has an ID of articles. And we could use this for our own benefit. We could say, all right, everything in this, everything in this div, we want to be able to print it out in our PDF. So let's head back to our Hello Controller. And what we can do is we can simply say, since we already have in slides this year, we can say this dot doc. Or rather, first let's get the information that we have here in our div. So that would be, you can say our constant, and we'll say this data is equal to document dot get element by id or we could actually use a stimulus target or the data controller data target actually but we'll just use a classic way of doing it since it's simply and then with that since we have our data we can say this dot doc dot html and then you say data dot inner HTML to get the inner HTML that we have here. And with that, if we click, okay, let's try saving this automatically to a file. We'll say test PDF. If we do that and we run this, we can see it created the PDF for us. This is our button that we had here. And this is all the data that we had. But as previously stated, we want our generate PDF to handle this. So we simply go back here. And with this, we can just move these two lines into our generate PDF file, generate PDF method. And then we save this. We refresh our page. This will take a few seconds. And there we go. So this is how we can simply implement our JS PDF library in Rails. You can simply, it's almost like plug and play. There are lots of other options that we could explore, but this is just an introduction.